two extra examples. We have three identical metallic objects. They carry the following charges. Three micro coulombs, eight and minus five. So here's one object, let's say they are identical. So it doesn't matter what they are, you can just think of them as spheres. There's three micro coulombs here. Remember that the micro is 10 to the minus 6, 1 millionth. Here we have another one, 8 micro coulombs and minus 5. This is number 1, number 2, number 3. Now, the first object is brought into contact with the third object and then separated. So we get the three microcoulombs and the minus five. They're brought into contact and then separated. Then the first object is brought into contact with the second object and then separated. So now, before we go to this statement, let's figure out what happened here. If they are in contact, then there will be transfer of charge. Charge will move from one. Remember that it's a metal and in metallic objects, charge moves freely. So here there's positive charge, here there's a negative charge. So charge will move between them. It will keep moving until, and since they are identical objects, until in the end the charges become equal. When the charges become equal, then there's no transfer, no further transfer of charge. So this means that since this has three microcoulombs, this has minus five, the total charge on both of them is minus two microcoulombs. So this means that when I bring them in contact and keep them for a while in contact until equilibrium is attained, I'll end up with one with minus one microcoulomb on this and minus one microcoulomb on that because the total charge on them is minus two, and that minus two will be spread equally, or it will be divided equally between the two objects. So now, at the end of this step, I had number one is minus one, and number three is minus one microcoulombs. Now I bring, so this is number three, this is number one. Now I take the first object and put it in contact with the second object. So now I have the minus one. I put it in contact with the second, which is eight. They're identical, so they have the same size. Minus one and eight microcoulombs. Again, they are identical objects, they are metals, so charges will move. It is like, like the charging by contact. So charge will move from one metal to the other until finally the charges become equal, equally divided. So the total charge here is minus one plus eight, that's seven. That's a net charge. So this seven will end up being divided equally between the two. So we'll end up with 3.5 on one, and on the third, 3.5. On the second one, 3.5. So finally, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. 
So number one will have 3.5 microcoulombs, number two will have 3.5 microcoulombs, and number three will have minus one microcoulombs. So that's the final charges on each object. Now what's the number of excess electrons or protons on each sphere? If the charge is negative, it means we have excess ele electrons. If the charge is positive, like here, it means we have excess protons. So on object number one, I have 3.5 microcoulombs, positive. So I have excess protons. How many excess protons? It's a charge, 3.5 microcoulombs times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, divided by the charge of the proton. What is the charge of the proton? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So that's the excess number of protons. So we get around here 2, 2.3 or so, 2.2 uh, times 10 to the 13 protons. On number 2, same thing, 2.2 times 10 to the 13 protons. On number three, I have excess negative charge, so I have excess electrons. How many? It's a total charge, which is minus one, times 10 to the minus six coulombs, divided by the charge of the electron, because I have excess electrons. What is the charge of the electron? Minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So I end up with about 6.25 times 10 to the 12 electrons. So that's the way it goes.